everybody. How are you? Okay, look at this. Oh, yes, it's a poodle. And it's a very cute balloon design. The cool thing is always you can uh, use bigger balloons to make it bigger, of course, like, a, I don't know, 350 with a 560 balloon. So this can be a very big design. But then let's start. The thing is, I ran out of 160 pink. So we're going to use, instead of that um, bubble gum pink, we're going to use the lila or um, this color, okay? <laughs> and then we, I have this hot pink. I think yeah okay let's just start this design and first you're gonna just make a little bubble with a 160 black just a little one and you're gonna leave maybe like three fingered tail just so you can make a long apple twist so this is what I do I push all the way and even you see this is the bubble I have introduced inside I squish a little bit so I make a very long pinch uh, apple twist so we're talking like five finger apple twist okay so when you have that, you can take out a little bit of that nose, that's going to be the nose, and twist it. Twist it very well, just like this. Okay, so you can, when you twist it like a couple of times, you can leave it there. What you can do so far right now is like make an angle. So bend it and make an angle there. Okay, now you leave it there and with a 260 pink, the darker, uh, because the thing is this design can be, you know, all white or um, you know, like soft pink and dark pink or dark purple and light purple. I should do that, but uh, so you can play with different colors. You can make it even a rainbow one with a lot of balloon scraps. Okay, so let's start with this one, just blow it inflated like 10 finger tail and make like how many? It's supposed to be five pinch twists, but you first make four. And then you leave one on top and then you're gonna need two more so in total how many pink trees are all together mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you right now so five six seven pinch twists all together okay seven pinch twists all together so you make four one on top and then two in the in the back and under okay so then we're gonna attach this balloon right here so you make four pinch twists all these one on top and then two pinch twists in the in the bottom so then you're gonna connect right there the head so you just go around so you squeeze the balloon and go around and around and around and around and around and, around. and you have this look okay this is the idea when you have that, now you're going to make like a two finger bubble. And this is the thing, you can start making with this. We're going to have to make like four pinch twists all together now. Let's see if we're going to have enough balloon. I hope so. So you can play, yes, here's a four pinch twist. And it's a vibe, but I, I guess if you make this pinch twist smaller, you're gonna have enough, you know, to make all the pinch twists we need to make. So we make like four pinch twists like this, and then we're gonna make more for pinch twists. So that means four more. So you have to make, let me show you. Uh, so you have to make two of these, like four pinch twists. And then remember I told you like a two finger bubble here and just connect it in the middle go around and then you open like two pinch twists and then you go with a four finger bubble and you connect these ones again right here and when you have that you can cut the balloon you don't need a well actually Yes, you're going to need this, but without air. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie the balloon. Okay. I'm going to leave just very skinny air there. Very little air. And now we're going to grab the 160 balloon. But first, with a 160 dark pink, and if this can be in a scrap. So I found a scrap right here. Yep. Uh, you just need to make this little detail. I'm going to show you because you can make it with the scraps so look you have to make 
two pinch twist together then a little bubble like a one finger bubble and then two pinch twists i'm doing this with a 160 balloon okay and then you cut so when you do this you have to do this one more time so it's two pinch twist and then one finger bubble and then two pinch twist okay, let me see Mm, I saw in the comments that someone was asking to how to pop the balloon faster or cut the balloon without scissors and <laughs> look I don't have longer long nails so what I do is use most of the time I use my teeth or I use these cutters you know color rings that I don't use it on my on my fingers if you are a woman or have a long hair don't ever use it like this because you're gonna start cutting your hair uh, by accident you know if you start sweating or you want to touch your face and you forget that you have this oh be careful and then i also have this one so what i do i connect them on my this is my case and, and look you see this is a cutter ring right there and then one of these sides i have an extra cutter here just in case and it works really good for me okay so we have these two times right now what we're going to do with a 160 um the color of this part, whatever the color is here. So this time it's purple because if it is when it will be like light pink. Okay, so you make a pinch twist, you know, make sure it's very well twisted and you connect it here in one of these. So that's going to be one feet. And then you're going to go up like four or three finger bubble and you connect it right here and the body. And then you go back again with like three finger bubble and you connect it the other side. Little cut here. So when you have that, you cut, tie it again, and make sure this doesn't come undone. So you can tie it and pass it around. Oh, phew, ah, ah, I forgot something very important. You need to make the other bubble here. Oh man. Well, if that happened to you, <laughs> um, maybe, you know, for my mistake, you will remember, uh, not cut it yet. That's what I like, you know, most of my videos have already the design made it, and there, that picture, you're going to see them, you know, and you will remember not to do the same mistake, but this is the idea, you see? So now we're going to do the same with the back legs. So again, this time, I'm not gonna forget, a pinch twist, okay? Then you go and attach it right here. Okay, and then you go with a three finger bubble and attach it right here. And now again, three finger bubble and attach it right here. And this time, I'm not going to forget, I'm going to make a pinch twist at the end. So that's going to be, see, the pass, the cut. You are going to use, actually, this part. Let me remember, let me remember. You're not going to use it anymore. <laughs> so I let the air out. Or actually, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Then we need a little bit more of a dark pink. Why? Because remember I told you here, so what are you gonna do here is like this part that had air, you see, you keep it there, but cut the rest. So this is what I do. I just use my teeth. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have this. And then with an extra of like 260 or 160 of the dark color that you're using, um, you're going to just blow a little bit. You can make like a lot of little bubbles, like pinch twists, or you can just make one bubble like this. You know, it doesn't matter much. We're gonna keep it right now this simple. I wanted to make this video shorter, but nope. So, um, yeah, the idea is um, if you practice, you can make this much faster and you can always have pre-made designs. So I did this, look, I just cut, you know, tied it together and I'm gonna cut all this excess with my cutter ring right here. So then you just connect this piece right here. Maybe uh, I'm doing that part too. Uh, let me see. So you can just attach it any how you prefer. So I like it this way. 
Okay, so this is the poodle. Uh, the cool thing about this design, I, I like it, it's cute. You tell me, what do you think? Do you like it or no? And this is the cool part. Look, you can just use, um, you know, you Sharpie and do this. You see, it's a very proud poodle. <laughs> and you can do the same here. So it's a very simple uh, Sharpie time. You just only use that. Oh, I forgot something really cool too. Like um, this one, what I did is like, let me see if I found. Because right now, if you give this to the kid, they're going to recognize for sure it's a poodle. But look, with the, if you have extra more uh, 160 of this color of the, the hair, you can do this. Look, I'm going to show you. You just make a very, you know, squishy part, like two or three finger bubble. Twist it, twist it, twist it very well. And again, go with a three finger bubble. And then you just cut that. And you just have to attach these pieces just like here, look. One this side, the other one this side. And that way you're gonna have like shapes of ears, you know, for or make that part longer. And that's depend on you, but I think it's um add you know some extra um detail. I love that. And you just connect it like this, you see? Look, I think much better right okay everybody thank you for watching this video look check it out look you can make this one this tail i made it with three pinch twists with a 160 balloon this one only one to the side actually maybe like a little bit more bubbles will be better right but a little bit more bubbles and without this oh man i shouldn't but i had to check it out how it looks so i'm gonna see if i have more scraps of this um let me see i'm gonna blow this to make this video much longer why not <laughs> no. okay so i'm gonna make more little bubbles we're gonna test and see you know how cool will be so i'm using 160 because it looks cuter right when it's smaller but with a lot of little bubbles so i'm making again four pinch twists but this time with a 160 balloon and what i'm gonna do is attach it right here and look, you cannot really make it too, too heavy because it's going to be too obvious. But look, I think it's much better. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, yes. This is the design that you will see there. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing. And um, yeah, if you're not ready here on my, uh, what is YouTube channel, you know, like subscribe. And then you will see a lot of, you know, cool designs because I'm trying to make something new, something cute. And this is a design you see everybody asks for a poodle. And there's a basic, you know, easy, simple design with one balloon. But this one is a little bit more elaborated. And the thing is, you have that choice to have many different sizes of balloons. So, look, this is a lot of different scrap balloons too. And the thing is, when you are making balloons for a lot of people, you can always keep, you know, the balloon inflated and just juice a little bit and then cut it and tie and start, you know, keep having balloons that have already air. So that's going to help you to, for the next design or for the, if someone else I want, want the same idea, the same dog, you can use those old, uh, balloons that are already pre-inflated, right? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I hope so. <laughs> okay, everybody. Bye-bye.